Hi, I'm Linda Sandu, and this is What's Happening. We're here with the cast and characters, as I will call them, of Bus Stop. The Chatham Drama Guild is presenting it um, from October 11th through 27th. And I would like you to meet some of the staff and director and producer. Um, I'm going to have you guys go down the line, introduce yourself, and talk a little bit about what your role is at the, on the play. I'm Mariana Page Glidden. I'm the director of Bus Stop. I'm so pleased to be able to be directing this play because it is one of my favorites. I absolutely love William Inge. I think he's a fabulous playwright. Uh, one that may not be as appreciated as some of the other playwrights uh -huh. um, in, in the United States. Um, this is my first major directing for the Chatham Drama Guild, but oh, I directed a number of plays in Westchester where I lived before, including The Heiress, All the King's Men, On Golden Pond, oh, and wow. The Shadow Box. Well, welcome to Cape Cod. Thank We're looking you. forward to seeing a lot of you. Thank you. Greta? Hi, my name's Greta Ribb, and I'm the producer of Bus Stop. I'm also the set dresser, and I also play Elma, the teenage waitress. <laughs> You are wearing many hats. I love to wear many hats. You can ask anyone that knows me on the Cape. That's kind of the thing that I do. Um, but I'm, I'm very thrilled to be working on this production. I, too, am a lover of William Inge and, um, and hard-hitting American drama. Um, I am very pleased to be working with Mariana um, for the first time. That's great. And. Um, I've worked with several of the actors before, actually all of you that are here today with us. Mm -hmm. And um, it's just been a very, um, very rewarding, very high energy, very positive experience so far. And we haven't even opened yet. That's right. I can't wait for <laughs> yeah, the opening. I cannot wait. Uh, Tara, why don't you introduce yourself and talk about your character, which you've been, only been asked that 12 times since you walked in here. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my name is uh, Tara Cannon. I play uh, Cherie. Um, she's a nightclub singer um, down in the Ozarks, is where she's from. Um, and what happens with her is that you know she's being stalked by this cowboy that's been in the rodeo, and he's just going to take her to Montana and marry him, and she wants no part of it. Um, so that's a really interesting dynamic, trying to figure out you know what love is and and what it really means. And I think that's kind of the central theme: is all the characters are trying to figure out, you know, is what is love and and who we all are inside and. I really think that's one of the major themes, is that it comes in all shapes and forms, and sometimes we don't even know it until it literally smacks us in the face. That's <laughs> so. true, that's mm -hmm. true. John. My name's John Eastman. Uh, I play the part of Virgil Blessing, who is a rancher and a guitar-playing cowboy. Um, he uh, has to act as a sort of a surrogate father toward the male lead, um, one of the male leads um, who called Bo Decker who um, was orf uh, orphaned at an early age. So he has to be both father, mother, and best pal and confidant to uh, Bo Decker. Along with playing the guitar. Along with playing <laughs> the guitar. Yep, I've been practicing. <laughs> Good boy. Um, Gary Mitchell, I play Dr. Lyman, who is um, an educated Eastern snob. <laughs> and his, his function in the play, uh, among other things, uh, as, the, as the description on the back of the script says, he, he, they don't say comes of age, but he has a realization, a reckoning, a, a midlife crisis to realize who he really is in the course of the play. Uh, he is, however, a heavy drinker and uh, something of a womanizer. and. Um, as I say, I, I, snobbish in the sense that he really doesn't even deal with anyone else in the play except uh, Elma, whom he's interested in. Uh -huh. Oh, interesting. Oh, good. And this play, again, it's October 11th through 27th at the Chatham Drama Guild. This was originally a movie, right, with Marilyn Monroe? It was a play first. Okay. Um, and then it opened in broad, on Broadway in 1955. Um, it had a performance run of 190 performances. Wow. And then the year after, it was made into the film starring Marilyn Monroe and um, Don Murray. Uh -huh. um, the film is very different from the play. 
the the screenplay is actually based on two plays by Inge, um, People in the Wind and Bus Stop. Okay. So the plot is is relatively different. Mm -hmm. So if you've seen the movie, which many people have said, oh, Bus Stop with <laughs> Marilyn Monroe, That's exactly um, right. that doesn't necessarily mean that you have a sense of what's going to happen in this much play. Better than the movie. The play yeah. is better than the movie, mm -hmm. and it's a better. Yep. From what you all are saying, it's a serious. Oh, very. Well, yes. it's a comedy. It's very funny, but there, it's got a very serious undertone. Okay, mm -hmm. just uh, like life, you yeah. know. Yeah, makes There's it very a lot real. And what attracted you most to it? Um, what attracted me most to this play is the fact that the characters are real. Mm -hmm. These are real people in real situations. Mm -hmm. And um, that's what I liked about this play and I like about Inge in general when he mm -hmm. um, writes plays. Um, and, and everybody has asked me, who's playing the Marilyn Monroe <laughs> part? Well, I actually see the part of Sherry um, not as the Marilyn Monroe part. Right. I see her as a young woman who's struggling um, under very difficult circumstances mm -hmm. um, in, in her life. She doesn't have much of an education. Um, she has somewhat of a singing voice. She's trying to make the most of her life and, um, and it is conflicted. Um, she's not a sex pot. That's not who she is. Mm -hmm. um, she's a very complex character who happens to be pretty, who happens yeah. to have um, a lovely body, but who also has a, a, a very complex uh, personality. Mm -hmm. And so, as I say to people, this is not Marilyn Monroe. This is Cherie, who is a real person on stage, and that's who Tara is playing. That's yeah. great. And Kim Stanley is the one that originally had done it, and I read a lot of the older views on the play when she had done it, and it really inspired me because I did see a couple snippets, um, you know, on YouTube regarding uh -huh. the Marilyn Monroe aspect, and I'm like, ooh. And then when I read further, I was like, oh no, that's the real character. That's what I'm going for. Mm -hmm. um, and she really is a fantastic character. I really, really enjoy her highs and her lows and um, how she is trying to figure out what love is because, you know, she lost her whole family. Okay. You know, so this, it's just, it's great. It really is. It's definitely not the Marilyn Monroe stereotype character that we're dealing it with. It sounds wonderful. And you guys are still in rehearsals. Mm -hmm. And... It's kind of crunch time now, right? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> crunch, mm -hmm. but fun time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's right. fun. It's the best time. Yeah. Oh, it, well, it all nice comes time. together, and that's, yeah. that's the exciting part. All the hard work starts to see, oh, wow, this is where we're going, and you feel it more. And that's yeah. that's the great thing about theater. That's you know, wonderful. it's bringing it to life and feeling your characters. Right. And that it's a little different every night. Yes, oh, it never is. The yeah. same. Never that's the a, same. That's a great thing about mm -hmm. theater. We're so excited to see the play opening October 11th, Bus Stop at the Chatham Drama Guild. Thank you, everybody, for being with us. Thank you. Hope Thank everybody you. Gets Thank out you. There. <laughs> I'm Linda Sandu, and that's what's happening. <laughs>